Hi guys and welcome back to Scribe Gaming. I'm your man Scribe and I really hope that your day is just pucker. So, earlier today I uploaded a video that detailed how you can take on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren with Ultimate and a full squadron of First Order troopers all at uh, Relic 7 uh, with a short man team of just four characters. Now in my haste to upload that video I might have glossed over a few of the teensy wincy little important details. So I'm going to do you a favour now and I'm going to go into it Deep dive style. Let's get into it. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my patrons. In the bronze tier, we've got Ends Badly, and in the silver, we've got Dan Goodenough and Few Spendow. Your support means so much to me, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, then. So we're going to start with General Skywalker and how I go about modding him for this particular counter. Now I do take it a little bit differently than what you would see in a standard 501st lineup and how you would use him for mirror matches and such, but it's not massively different. So what we have done is if you, if you look here, we have got his combined health and protection not massively high and there's a good reason for that. So in total here, what have we got? About 150,000, 152,000 combined health and protection. Um, he's got 83 speed, so no great shakes there. No crit damage, now that's different for me, but 10,000 offense. So if we look here, on the, on the arrow we've got offense, on the cross we've got offense, and on the triangle we've got offense. Now, there's good reason for this. First of all, you want to make sure that he is hitting hard. Against Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, it doesn't really matter if you're going to crit, because most of the time, that team is going to have advantage, which means they'll be immune to critical hits. However, that doesn't stop you from bumping up your offense really high and doing some serious damage that way. Now, we have dropped his health and protection. Normally, I'd have his health and protection at, you know, uh, about 110 to 120,000 protection because he really benefits from that when in mirror matches. You know, having him stocky but offensive is great. However, against Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, you want him to be dropped as frequently as possible. You want him to literally stand up, hit someone, kill them, get hit, and then drop. That will mean that Supreme Leader Kylo Ren does not get the opportunity to build meter on his ultimate. So, as we said, we've got, what, about 150,000 combined health and protection? That's important. Now, when we look at fives, this is how I would modded him now. So, we have got two health sets and a defense set. I've got speed on the arrow but we're still looking for a bit of health. I've got defense on the triangle, got defense on the cross, okay? And we're looking to get fairly decent um, speed secondaries. And if you can get any sort of additional defense on these secondaries, all the better. Now, when we look at his health and protection, he's got, what, 80,000 there, 140, 148,000, 149,000, which is lower than what gas has. Now what that means is when we've got Chewie on the field, he's going to get guard, which means he cannot be stunned. It means he gains health and protection whenever Chewie assists, or attacks in general. So that's the idea here. We can't pump his protection and health too high. We want it to be lower than gas, but we still want him tanky. The way you do that is with defense sets. Now defense, percentage defense and flat defense are actually fantastic, and they work just as well as health or protection. It's just a little bit different. And in this way, it works very well at making sure he gets guarded, but he doesn't drop. Okay, so the only other two people that we really need to look at now is our rebels, Han and Chewie. Now, my Han is standard modding for Han. I've got him with a crit damage set and a lone health set that's not, well, a lone health mod that's not doing anything. So he's modded no differently than you'd standardly mod him. He's got over 100% crit chance, so there's no need for a CC set. He's got 8k offense, and he's running, what, 240 nearly, 235% uh, percent crit damage. You want him to be a good source of damage. He is there to hit frequently and hit, hit hard. He's not particularly fast, and he doesn't need to be. So here we've got crit damage on the triangle, we've got offense on the cross, and we've got speed on the arrow. You could probably get away with putting offense there, but I don't think it particularly matters. I've got decent offense in the secondary. Now, the last character we will look at is none other than Chewbacca. So Chewbacca here, I also mod a little bit differently to normal. Normally, I like to have him offensive. If you are using him in a counter that involves going against gas, people usually have him modded for tenacity. 
but in this case, in this particular scenario, I mod him for a lot of health and a lot of protection. Okay, so we look here, we've got protection primary on the cross, protection uh, on the arrow, protection primary on the triangle, protection primary on the cross, protection primary on the circle. Okay, these don't really need to be 6e because you only gain half a percent more. And then apart from that, you just want a little bit of speed on him. Nothing crazy for speed, just decent speed, you know? So he's at 244, 100,000 protection, 72,000 health. The reason I've done it this way is that he stays alive. It's imperative that your Chewbacca does not die when Supreme Leader Kylo Ren uses his ultimate, okay? So we've gone over the modding. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail now when we actually go into fighting Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I'll see you there in a second. All right, so we're going to go in and take on Madam Kato's team again. And uh, I'm just going to go through a little bit slower this time just to show you how this actually works. Hopefully no crashes this time. Okay, so I'm actually going to change my initial comment and I'm going to say focus down Sith Trooper first because you don't want him assisting an AoE in because he will use his AoE attack in hurting Chewbacca. So let's go. Let's get this ball rolling. You want your... Uh, your gas to drop immediately that's great you see how little um ultimate meter is on kylo ren and then we're just going to do the usual thing calling in chewbacca to assist whenever we can and watch as fives just tanks it like a bouse looking good there fives looking good so we're not going to uh, use the aoe here because the aoe will trigger a bunch of counter attacks and you really don't want that so let's just try and stun stormtrooper let's get some buffs going extra crit damage That's more like it. Here we go. So what we want to happen here is we want to get the armor shred on First Order Stormtrooper, but you want to get a load of days on the board, specifically on First Order Stormtrooper, uh, on Sith Trooper. Here he goes and cleanses it again, just like he did the first time. It's a shame. Maybe one day that'll work properly. But as you can see, Kylo still doesn't actually have his ultimate charge. Now it looks like he might have it now. So our fives is getting a little bit hurt now, but that's okay. Just go ahead and hit Stormtrooper there. My cat is attacking my feet. Playful little scamp. So we're getting a little bit low here. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. So, I'm actually going to take on Sith Trooper now because we really don't want him causing us any issues. And he doesn't actually need anything. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually stun Hux. Oh, completely take him out. That works as well. And then... Focus down on Stormtrooper. And then on to Kylo next. We want to try and drag out his health as much as possible. We want this to land now. Now Chewie should survive. And Fives will definitely survive because gas is protecting him. So we're looking pretty good now. Let's call Chewie into assist. There comes the stun. We're still standing. Um, is there... Yeah, let's go ahead and clear those buffs. Oh, I forgot Kylo will repass him advantage. But thanks to our good modding, we're looking good anyway. So we really need to have um, gas standing to take on Kylo Ren. So let's can't swap the offense there. Let's just keep this up. He's going to keep on attacking fives. Fives should stay alive regardless. The basic is where we get the most threat, I guess. Let's get some of that additional buffs going. Here we go. Now, we should be able to take out Kylo. There he goes. He doesn't have nearly enough ultimate charge just yet. So let's just try and plow in as much offense as we possibly can. Let's try and recover. A little bit of hit points. There he goes. He's going to sit down. He still doesn't have enough um, ultimate charge to actually use his ultimate. And he's no way going to kill fives now. So it's a fairly reliable way. I wouldn't suggest trying to use this against the likes of Malak in the team. Um, and I'm not sure how it's going to operate against all Kylo Ren uh, lineups. It's really just going to take a little bit of practice to see how that actually goes. But I hope that this video here is a little bit clearer on the modding and the tactics that you have to use. Just make sure that your Chewie stays alive and your uh, fives is has guard on him to make sure that he's getting that recovery from Chewie. Alrighty, so um, I hope that was useful to you guys. 
Um, as usual, please, please, please like and subscribe. I really want to try and push for those 500 subscribes. Um, and it would make me very happy if I could hit that milestone. So in the description down below, I've got a link to my Discord channel and my Twitter account. So please join them to keep up to date with any latest postings that I do. All right, guys. Thanks very much.